Good day guys, Bing here. Um, uh, how's everyone going? <laughs> um, okay, so I just um, uh, just uh, submit my uh, uh, assignment for the last two units and uh, the new sem semester start tomorrow. So um, just uh, have a little bit time to show you um, how to create this little tool uh, for um, it, it can be quite useful. So, uh, okay, so let, let me just quickly uh, sh show you the, the background of this one. So when we, so in Australia, so we have this national uh, NCC, Nas National Construction Code. And uh, for the stairs, we need to uh, have this, um, we have this maximum and minimum uh, uh, for, um, what's that, riser and go going. So, and also the 2R plus G, so we need to be uh, between these two numbers. So, okay, to, to comply with uh, a national construction code. So when we do a, a, a st stairs in Revit, so let, let me show you. So we can just do a st something like that. Okay, so oh, maybe just, let, let me just finish this. Okay, so we can, so this is the tool. So TG tag, so it's a tag, and then you can, let's, you know, uh, tag the whole stair instead of you know, uh, just the the just the landing. So you need to tag the whole thing. Okay, so okay, so it will tell you the R, which is so if you are select this, so uh, R is the riser, so actual riser height. Okay, so one, so this number, and G is a go, uh, the tread tread depth. Okay, so the going. And also this R two R plus J equals six six uh, six one four, uh, which is between these two numbers, so it complies, right? So now if 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 we change the so for example if, if we change this uh, this one three make it very you know deep three hundred, it's still complying because it, this number is between that um, that the two those two number right? So now if I uh, increase this a little bit more, 340, and then this number beca uh, becomes uh, bigger than the seven, 700 here. So it not comply, okay? So yeah, so this this is, yeah, this is it basically. So let me just change this one back to this. And also um, sometimes we might, you know, change the actual riser. So by uh, reducing the, uh, desired uh, number of, of riser. So let's just try this. Oh, I want to make it only 20 and click OK. And also we need to make sure edit stairs to get rid of this, you know, 20, the last two. So in fact, oh, hell, maybe we, because that's to delete, delete the landing. Yes, yeah, so that's, oh, now I think we need to drag. Let's just drag this one. Okay, so now it's 20. Go finish. So now, because we reduce the desired number of riser, so uh, the actual riser height is hard. It's 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 too big, two hundred not comply. So it's actually, it it, it does not comply here as well. Okay, so let, let's try to make this like less than one ninety. Okay, so maybe add one more. So twenty one, and then go edit stairs. So go drag this to the left. Twenty one, finish. Now let's have a look again. Okay, so it's not com so this number complies, but this one's not. So although it, it says not one ninety, it's actually one ninety point five. That's why it's not comply. Okay, so yeah, so this is it. So this is a tool. So once you tag, you can just move it, you know, somewhere, and just to make sure it complies. So maybe in this scenario, we probably just need to add one more. So. Okay, so and then also go here, 22, and then that's it. Okay, so now let's try to create this family. So, okay, so uh, I have this family here. So in case I um, forgot <laughs> how to create it again. So, so now let's start. So new, uh, it will be family. It will be a tag, so it's under annotation. Um, Stairs. Where's stairs? 
Ah, uh, it's not here. Make that's fine. Let's just use this generic uh, tag. Okay, so open. Okay, so first thing, delete this, and then go to um, family types. Oh no. Uh, this one, family category and the parameter. So now we should be able to find stairs, stairs, stairs. Okay, so stair tag. Okay, so click OK. So now we need to. So first, if I go there, so we need this one's R and G. So they are under that stair category. So should be able to just uh, quite easily just go to label. Okay, and then so um, if you wanted to change the size, you can just go edit. So can just create, so maybe just duplicate. I'll just call it to uh, 1.8 maybe. And also I'll change some setting here. Um, size 1.8 and maybe make it bold. Uh, maybe, um, I think, yeah, uh, usually I'll change this one because I don't want to see a very big uh, uh, box. Uh, 0 0.5, so maybe five. Okay, so now that's that's it. Finish, and then click here somewhere. Click, and then we can start to place the those uh, parameters in. So first, the R, uh, R is the actual riser height. Okay, so go there, and um, we can change the format. So, so we can go here. Uh, in this um, scenario, I'm going to uncheck this one millimeter. That's fine. Um, now nah, maybe just uh, zero decimal uh, places and also uh, mm um, everything here is fine click OK sample um, I'm not going to maybe just uh, 170 mm okay um, I think that's it uh, oh hell uh, R equals um, yeah, all oh, good. And then we add another one, so that's actual thread depth, so which is going G. Okay, so same G equals. So and then just give a sample value, so for example, uh, 270 mm. And because uh, we want them to, you know, to break, this will change. Uh, um, what do we call that? <laughs> so anyway, so uh, I'll show you the difference. So if yeah, so this is without a break, and oops, wrong one. If break, it will change. Okay, so um, we let's just change the line to the left. Yeah, and now we need the two R plus G G, right? So go so edit label. Um, calculation. So which uh, will be this one? Click on this. So name is two R plus J. It will be a um, in oh hell. It will be a length, length. Yeah, length. Formula is two plus two times. So it will be riser. Okay. So times two times two plus and. Uh, G, which is thread, thread depth. Okay, so, and that's it. Click OK. Um, sample value, uh, maybe make it 600, some, something like that. So this will be 2R plus G. And that's it. So let's click, uh, uh, and, and also just make sure, uh, I'm not sure this one, oh, we didn't do this. So let's just do the same, uh, zero decimal, all oh, good. Same, this one, change the format, uh, zero decimal, mm, and that's it. Uh, do we need this? I'll just, yeah, I'll just leave it. Okay, so finish. So now we have, oh, we need a break. <laughs> break. Okay, so, oh, equals, sorry. Go there, equals. So now just, move it roughly here and this is um, so this is not it but uh, just 
without this without this not compliant thing right so now let's have a test so i'll just save as just give it a name okay so i'll just call this there um, tag test save and load this one into the project we have that one okay so let's tag so uh, we have already have this one so that's fine i'll just tag this one and change this one to uh, tag test which is great so now this it works already but it, it won't tell um, tell us uh, if it's not compliant so if i change this one to three five hundred three uh, 350 for example so you can see it's a seven one four and it's not showing anything okay so now let's go back here so what we are going to do is um so this is a little bit tr tricky here actually um because i couldn't figure out that um to to create a like yes no parameter so we can control uh using this so what the strategy is we're going to um create so if you look at this one so actually i have two so one stack onto the other one okay exactly the same thing except we have something here with a like if condition in, into it so okay so let's let's do the same thing so what i'm going to do is also first let, let me just copy this one up and then create a red te 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 uh, text i'll call it red and change this to red and okay oh good so now i'll drag this down actually oh, hang on. um i'll i'll have a test drag this down okay oh it's it's cover it's covering the black so which is not right so what i'm going to do is i'll change this one to red and change this one to black and then if i drag this down it will cover the red right so now what we need to do i'll just control z select this edit label okay so we need to add another um condition or oh, not condition uh calcul calculated value so this time uh, i'll not i'll call it com uh, maybe comply okay so and this time it will be a text text okay formula so formula is we need to just go back here so we need to make sure not only the two r plus g we we need also make sure um the r and the g um they are between these two number okay so i will uh, so um this let me just if uh hang on maybe i need to hang on let, let me just finish this one i need to go back and to have a look <laughs> edit label so this is if i select this one edit so this is the formula oh quite long okay so so you can see if or so there's a condition two right if or all means two r plus g, if two r plus g is uh two r plus g is uh bigger than 700 or 2 r plus is smaller than 550 uh, or so you can see more you can have more more than two okay so for this uh, or condition so actual rider uh, bigger than 190 or actual riser height smaller than 115 or actual tread uh, depths uh, um, is bigger than 355 or so all these are the all conditions so so you can see all these and then after that uh if any of this um uh is a, a yes if any of these uh come back uh a yes and it will show not uh, not comply okay it will show not comply otherwise otherwise it will show nothing okay so this is the formula so i'm going to just copy this one so control c don't worry if you um because i'm going to share this uh family uh to to you so don't worry but this is the idea okay so control c okay so now i'm going to go to the new family so i'm going to build into this so edit label click click on this 
So this one will be, uh, let, let me call it comply, and it will be a uh, text and control V. And this is very important because this is a text and this is text, you need to that use those quotes um, uh, symbol. Okay, so click OK. That's it. And and this time we don't need a break. You can you can have it uh, if you want to, but uh, yeah, that, that will be fine. So click OK. So you will see here. And then we can just drag this down here to cover the, the rest of the red uh, text. Now let's have a test. Oh, sorry. Load this back. Uh, project one override. Ooh. No, no, no. So we need to change the you know alignment thing. So edit again. Select this one. So okay. So I think it's this this one. We need to increase this a little bit. And also we need to make sure so they um, match that. So let's have a look. Oh, this one, left middle, left middle. Um, yeah, it's, it's okay. Oh, I think it's probably because uh, previously this one's, you know, yeah, it's doing this so you can see. So if I drag, uh, once we drag this a little bit more, that should be fine. So load this one back. And overwrite. Okay, good. So now let's have another test. So 350 or 320, and then it should comply, right? And this is it. So that's the one. So this is the one we uh, uh, did previously. So exactly the same thing. So if I change this one to the, the, the other one, then yeah, so exactly the same thing. Okay, so this is it. Uh, I think this can be quite useful because uh, um, before that, uh, usually what we what we do is R get this number and then try to you know text R equals something something, right? Uh, G equals something and then try to use uh, uh, do some calculation yourself and then uh, every time you change it, well, you need to do it again. But if once you have this little tool, so it's quite simple. So you just go there. Okay, so I want to show it in the um, on the elevation. So I just uh, tag it. Okay, that's it. Okay. So yep. Yeah, so this is it. I will share this family uh, with you. And uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, I might not be able to update. Uh, I might just do a do a couple of you know very quick one to show you some like some documentation uh, tips uh, <laughs> um, I might I'd be able to you know up, up, update a lot of video because yeah I, I need to go back to study again okay so that's all thank you I will see you next time bye Why are you talking to me? Shh, shh.